Hey guys, welcome to our channel. This is Ayanjar Chaudhary, and today I am gonna show you how to install Kali Linux in Windows 8.1 in VirtualBox. Okay, guys, now let's start. For to install Kali Linux in Windows 8.1, you have to require some things, and that is the you have to download VirtualBox or VMware. VMware is paid version, and VirtualBox is free. You can and you have to download Kali Linux .iso image. And the other thing is you 500 MB RAM and 20 GB hard disk. Okay, now first of all, go to VirtualBox website. That is here I am showing using VirtualBox because VMware is paid version and VirtualBox is free. Okay, first of all, go to www.virtualbox.org, click on downloads here, and then you will see this type of window. If you type choose VirtualBox for your host, I am using Windows 8.1, so I am clicking here. And if you are using Mac and other OS, then click in front of them. Click in here. A downloading will start. Download VirtualBox and wait for that. The VirtualBox setup file is about VirtualBox setup file is about 100 MB. And click on Start Download. I have downloaded it, and so I am canceling. And now go to Kali Linux website and click on Downloads. Then you will see this type of window. To install Kali uh, Linux in VirtualBox, you have to download their ISO disk image that is about 2.8 GB. I especially recommend you to download Kali Linux.iso from torrent because if you direct download their ISO image, then it will break your download and download will be not so proper. So click on torrent and download um, Kali Linux. Um, choose your machine. I, I have 64 bit, then I am downloading from here. If you have 32, then click here. Okay guys, now we have downloaded Kali Linux and Kali Linux ISO image and VirtualBox machine. Now, inst now install VirtualBox and open that. When you will open VirtualBox, then this this will look like that. I, I actually I have already installed Kali Linux, so I am seeing it. Otherwise, you will not see here. Okay, first of all, you have to click here. Click on New, and because we are installing Kali Linux, so type here Kali Linux. I hope you are using the latest version of Kali Linux. So type here. Type here Kali Linux 1.10 select Linux and here select Debian 64 bit. Okay, guys, now click on next. Now the default RAM is 512 MB, make it to 1000 for That is 1 GB. Click on next and now click on create a virtual hard drive now. now. Click create. Now select VDI, the first option click on next then choose dynamically floated next and now the call linux is using asking you to choose RAM. choose hard disk size so i recommend you to choose 20 gb okay right now click on create so we have created call linux some default setting now we have to change settings click on settings icon First, click on Kali Linux 1.10, then click on setting icon, and then go to general setting. The general settings are already saved. Click on advanced and click disabled, make disabled to bi directional. Again, here to bi directional and make description okay. Now, go to system and make click floppy and click and make it PIX3 USB tablet and the settings are all are same now click on processor and make processor as 2 uh, because i have 4 cpus so i choose 2 here if you and make this 100 percent and click on enable PANX go to installation the settings are already saved here now go to display go to video and make video memory to 128 mb here using full video memory for better experience and enable 3D acceleration now click on storage and now click on empty then go to id secondary master and choose your disk the disk is that we have downloaded from kali linux dot now we have to choose this kali linux 1.10 amd64 this is the downloaded Kali Linux image that we have downloaded from the official website. Click on open. We have just choose 
look at here my size is 2.8 GB and your should be also 2.85 GB now click on audio the settings are saved here now go to network listen this setting is very important go carefully first of all enable network adapter and make here net then go to adapter 2 and click here enable network adapter and choose bridge adapter then click on name here you will see your wi-fi name like my wi-fi name is railing rt3290 vision wi-fi adapter so i am choosing this if you have different wi-fi adapter name then choose that ok now go to serial ports here we have to change the thing go to usb then make click on both of the boxes enable usb controller and USB, enable usb 2.0 controller now click ok listen match your settings with mine take all the notation name operating system processor display storage audio network and all the settings match with your own now click on start this is starting our virtual machine call Linux is going to to be starts it will take some time so wait here here another window is opening call Linux is going to start go to graphical install choose graphical install guys actually here are various options so i am choosing graphical install click enter this type of window is running and processing is going on choose your language i am choosing english click on continue make this window full first now choose your country I am choosing my country India. I am choosing my country India and click on continue. Now you have to choose keyboard. I recommend you especially to choose keyboard as American English and continue. Processing is running and Kali Linux is going to be installed in our system. Take a coffee for a while that. guys thanks for watching this video and hope you will subscribe the channel if you are getting any problem then please mention in comments i will be there for replying click continue This is checking your network connection. Okay, here type your name. What is your host name? What you want to do? Like this is your uh, this is your like uh, computer name. Like, you can choose any name. I am choosing here Kali. My name is Kali. Then go to continue. If you have domain, if you have any domain, then you can mention here. And if you are not in domain, then skip that to continue here this is the important part here you have to choose your root password like i am choosing my password type again password here this part is every time you sign into kali and you have to ask Machine is trying to set up time for better experience. Okay, guys. I now you have to choose first option that is guided use entire disk. And click continue. Now you click continue and choose first option all files in one partition okay 
now click again continue click on yes and click continue this is your making your distal system partition this process will take so long time so make a patience here it depends your system processor it will take some time so guys take a coffee and rest make a small patience here okay guys it's a long time the process was so long now listen carefully if you have any internet connection now then click on yes and if you have not any internet connection right now then click no so i have internet connection so i am clicking yes now click on continue and make this proxy leave blank that if then click as soon as possible i will also upload some tutorials on kali linux like how to hack wi-fi how to hack some other process so guys we have done almost process now it is asking to install the group bot loader and click on yes and then continue the process is going on installed it will take again some time so keep patience okay guys our installation is completed now now click on continue This is removing some unburnt packages. Our installation process is going to be installed. Now click here, enter. This is running packages and opening the ISO image. Okay, guys, Kali Linux is going to start. Let's watch it. Congratulations. Now click here, enter and type username as root now click again enter and type the password you have choose while when we was installing like i was choosing my password i was typing in my password click enter console guide this is called linux is going to install in your machine and make control plus f f the full screen and minimize it this is the whole color next so it is installed in the PC and you can here type your terminal like come on and okay guys as soon as possible I will upload some tutorials so keep watching okay guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe the channel for more videos